So I got into ventriloquism because one time when I was about eight years old, my, uh -huh. I was running around the house, yeah. and my mother grabbed the newspaper and she plumped me in front of the television set and said, here, watch this, it's puppets. <laughs> and I'm watching and I go, well, it's not puppets because there's no one down behind a table doing that. Yeah. And then I said to myself, wait a second, how's that guy making those puppets talk? Yeah. I had no idea. And um, I asked my mother, what is he doing? She said, it's something called ventriloquism. Well, it turns out that was a guy named Terry Bennett. Yes. who was on Chicago television. He had his puppet Red Flannels. And seeing that, the bug bit me. And I have now, 50 years later, I'm still a ventriloquist and proud of it. So last year, mm -hmm. when I came to Vent Haven for the first time, yes. and I'm wandering around, and there in the Frank Marshall section, is sitting in a little chair in the corner by himself with Red Flannels. I hope I can tell this without filling up. I just, I, I was completely emotionally overwhelmed. There was this puppet mm -hmm. who had changed my entire life oh, wow. sitting there, and I got to just crouch down next to him and, and feel his presence. And it was truly extraordinary and truly magical. And I came back to visit Red again this what year. What a wonderful story. Thank you.